This is the Marmot Eclipse 3P. It's a three season tent, it has a single door and a single vestibule. And as you can see, it's got a lot of mesh built into the body of the tent, so it's gonna be very comfortable and offer a lot of great ventilation for hot summer backpacking or camping. So I'm sitting inside the Eclipse 3P, and as you can see, there's plenty of space. There's at least a foot of space above my head to the top of the tent. A um, couple people could fit in here. You got lots of headroom, lots of space to move around. Marmot gives you two small storage pocket pockets up here at the front, so you can stow small items there. And there are tabs at the roof if you wanted to clip in a gear loft and stow items up there as well. You've got the option to do it. So the minimum weight on this tent is four pounds six ounces, which is a pretty uh, pretty lightweight. Uh, design for a tent that'll fit three people. Uh, this is going to be a plenty roomy tent for two people and you could definitely th fit three people in there. Um, three 20 inch wide standard sleeping pads are going to fit side to side here. You've got a little bit wider measurement in the width of the tent at the end of the door than at the foot box but very little so overall it's almost a full rectangle uh, so three people definitely have room to get uh, their their heads at this end and their feet at this end marmots put a lot of really interesting design into the pole structure and how it attaches to the body of the tent so we're going to take a look at some of those details so at first glance, this looks like your typical pole design. I mean, Marmot's using DAC, Featherlight NSL poles. Um, they're aluminum, they're lightweight, really easy to set up. Um, and they're using the standard clip structure that you see to connect the body of the tent to the poles. This tent consists of two poles, although it looks to be a lot more. You have one large hub pole, which is this gray pole that runs to the back of the tent. And then this orange pole that we're looking at here uh, is actually the, the second pole of the pole design. Um, real unique feature is going to be this here, these little hub mounts on that orange pole on either side of the front of the tent that the gray poles are going to connect into. Uh, and then you've got a, a metal hub here with a strap and a clip system here. This creates a lot of really great headroom at the front of the tent. You can see it's just kind of this flat section of the top here that's going across the tent. So it really opens up the sides of the tent, opens up the ceiling of the tent. Three people can probably sit in there and sit up without their heads brushing into the tent. Um, but it doesn't include a whole lot of extra poles or brow poles that would offer more weight to the tent. So Marmot's got a really interesting design structure that has lightened up the tent itself, but you're still getting a lot of great space inside of it. So now we're looking at the uh, the toe end of the tent, and this is the uh, second unique feature here that Marmots incorporated is their reverse foot box design. You can see normally the tent would come down to the ground uh, at, at whatever point this pole structure allowed, and you'd stake it out. What they've done is they put a mounted point here. It's basically a ball joint on the end of this pole that connects into this um, this tab here with this little grommet. Um, and what it does is it pulls that back into the tent out away from the tent and up off the ground. So it really opens up the foot design of the tent. Three people are gonna be able to sleep in there. Their feet are not gonna be brushing the sides of the tent. Any condensation or moisture that happens to get in there will not be pressed up against your sleeping bag and making your bag wet. So this really opens up the space inside um, in, in a really unique way that I have not seen before. Uh, I think it's a really unique design to, again, offer more space inside a tent without adding the weight of poles and stakes. We'll take a look at the, uh, the the point where the fly and the tent body connect to the stake. Um, this is color coded so you can see you've got a red tab on the corner of the fly here, red tab on the body of the tent. There is your traditional grommet that the pole anchors into. Um, and then Marmot is kind of just, you know, tweaked it for weight. You've got um, cordage here. It's a loop. And at the end of this adjustable buckle, there is a pretty severely cranked hook that's going to hook onto that so it's real easy to do and you can make adjustments here to apply tension to the fly and there the, the other part of that cord runs out the rest of the way and connects to to your stake like it, you would expect it to this is the eclipse 3p with the fly on it uh, as you can see you've got a large vestibule at that one front door um, plenty of room to store packs boots and trekking poles for a couple people um, you've got a real nice fly that comes all the way back up here and you can see for that pole structure design that you do have a bit of a drip free door so if it's raining you're not going to get much water inside the tent while the door is open. Um, they do have a nice vent built in here and it is accessible from inside the tent and if you're out and you're in bad weather this is a pretty easy velcro system to take apart, fold that down and close it up. 
um, and then you're just relying on that ventilation coming in from under the fly. But if it's warmer or drier and you really want to get some airflow, especially in warm weather, that's a nice option. And that pole design we looked at earlier, you can see here's that flat edge. You've got tons of space between the tent body and the fly here. So you have really good airflow that's going to be able to move through there. Really keeps the condensation down inside the tent, keeps it comfortable in hot weather. If you do get into bad weather, um, Marmot does have some guy out points placed at various points around this tent. They also have reflective piping on it, so it's easier to find your tent in the dark. Um, nice thing that matches up with these and all is the inside, so underside of the fly from those guy points, you've got Velcro tabs that are designed to wrap around your poles. Not only does this keep the fly kind of taut and in place on the, the, the pole structure itself, but it's the fact that it matches up with those guy lines on the other side means that if you're in bad winds and you've got these lines guide out, they're really anchored to points on the poles where they're going to offer the best support and structure.